Har Har Mahadev World Razor Sabine and Roger here. Let's listen to Unchi Unchi Vade by Hans Raj. Here we are finally without further ado. Let's get into some blissful state. Yes. Um, we also have the English translation, which we're going to read first, oh. and then we're going to listen to the song, and then we're going to discuss it and review it. In the lofty mountains reside the innocent Shankar. What kind of attachment is this that I feel for you? I sing and dance, being completely absorbed in you. Mm. O oh Lord Shankar, the innocent one, O oh Lord Shankar, O oh Mahadev, the embodiment of Rudra, the one who sees the past, present, and future. Seated on the mountain is my innocent Shankar. I am his devotee. I am a devotee of Lord Shiva. I am a devotee of Lord Shiva. This entire world is false. This age is false. I am a devotee of Lord Shiva. I am a devotee of Lord Shiva. What kind of attachment is this that I feel for you? I sing and dance. Being completely, completely absorbed, absorbed in, in you. you. Whew. Wow. Oh, let's get absorbed together. Yeah, let's do it. Dissolve. After you hit the like button and subscribe. Yeah. Nandi. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Do we know where this place is? <laughs> Did you get absorbed in Lord Shiva? Yeah, so I think it was important to keep in mind the meaning of what was being sung in that time. So. Yeah. It's a devotional hymn, right? Focusing on Shankar, Mahadev, Shiva, right? See the attachment that I feel for you, right? Please absorb me. So being aware of that on the spiritual journey, whichever deity we identify with, it's part of the process. Even in the sense that, you know, you're talking about, you know, even in Buddhism, where it's very much an internal process, taking ownership that 
only by my own efforts can I become free. We still need to be absorbed into something in the sense as the false self is, you know, dissolved, to me is equated with, you know, being absorbed into something greater than ourselves, right? So to be focused on that, whether it's a, a deity or your higher self, uh, the God of your understanding, the infinite field of consciousness, the universe, whatever it is, is that, yeah, there is a power in the universe, the source of all universes, the source of everything, and it's definitely greater than our limited selves. So we're looking to become one with that, uh, to serve that, to be merged with that, or you know, to be devoted to it, right? And then that's part of the process. That's what this song was about in my mind. Beautiful. I'm really glad they got Hans Raj to mm -hmm. sing it once again. We love Hans Raj. You can just feel his devotion mm -hmm. in his voice. Mm -hmm. The one line, the entire world is false. So we got to hold that loosely, right? At the same time, mm -hmm. understand that, yeah, it's an illusion and an, an appearance, but it does exist you know, conventionally within the ultimate field. So it is a part of it. So in that sense, you know, it's definitely not entirely false. It's the manifestation of the divine. And if we're coming from that angle, then we can see it through what it is. It's a beautiful, incredible miracle. It's a miraculous display and we are in it. So we use that beautiful. as the most opportune time to practice. We are human beings, so incredibly fortunate. We just need to realize that, go within, seek the truth, raise our level of consciousness. <laughs> and raise the world. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this beautiful video and song with us. Mm -hmm. um, we saw more images now of the movie. Mm -hmm. oh, and yeah. it looked very devotional. It was... Yeah, I think it looks all right. So fingers crossed that this movie is gonna portray <laughs> Lord Shiva and whoever deity is mentioned ever God. Um, yeah, and written. we know, yeah, and as long as we watch these movies, if there is some negative misinterpretations, misportrayals, I think with any movie, like when me and Sabina, we do our chill time movie watch alongs. Yeah, we're watching a lot of different things in there. Mm -hmm. And what we're, we're trying to do is pull the good out of it right mm -hmm. so we kind of overlook the mistakes not to say that some things you know need to be you know corrected and you voice your concerns there you know kindly peacefully but at the same time what can we ex extract from these movies that's going to benefit us on our journey mm -hmm. and for us even you know any deities being portrayed as long as they're being portrayed respectfully and accurately then we could be like amazing it's beautiful we love movies where there's deities, yeah. temples, shrines, pilgrimages, anything yeah. spiritual. It all plants seeds in the mind streams of people. Yeah. And if something is not being treated respectfully, then we also have to understand ignorance, right? Yeah. The ignorance of people. They know not what they're doing. Yeah. Some people aren't so fortunate yeah. to be, you know, as devotional as spiritual so we're not here to judge but some people are more on the path than others and that's just the way that it is so our job is then to be on the path um, and to practice the teachings even if we notice something that uh, you know we don't like we practice okay what is what is our duty to do here mm -hmm. and not coming from anger and reaction but you know yeah. what would Lord Shiva do what would Lord Krishna do oh, 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 in the yeah. first instance they wouldn't get deluded and angry yeah, like what, not blindly angry. Yeah, what would the devotee of Shiva that has been absorbed into Shiva do? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right? So stuff like that. Yeah. And we're trying yeah. to align with, yeah, that intention. And then yeah. in my mind, that's what spiritual practice is all about. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Har yeah. Har Madhav. Har Har. May Lord Shiva bless you all. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Peace. Peace. Peace.